nothing dies. Okay. Out in nature, what it does is it goes into a, what I guess you can call it a slumber, you know, during the summer, hibernation, like what animals do. And then by the springtime, everything is beautiful again. And then, you know, the cycle goes on, you know, that, that cycle of, of, of life, if you want to call it that, you know, you can call it a, you know, whatever you want. I know a lot of people are fascinated with the tree of life. You know, they can, they love that concept, but that's the same thing with us. And that's the same thing with human beings. We, in a way, we mimic our nature. Okay. We do as nature do. You know, we have these material bodies at some point, you know, they, you know, they dissolve themselves, meaning we die. Welcome to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Love is spoken here with your host and guide, Michelle Carithers. Morning, morning, everybody. Evolution of the Consciousness, Love is Spoken Here. I'm Michelle Carithers on this Saturday, March the 2nd, 2024, on the West Coast, east side of town, baby, baby. Hope everybody's doing fantastic, magnificently, and marvelous because I am. I am doing fantastic. I just wanted to get on up on this beautiful Saturday morning. I'm not sure. I, I know it's windy out there, windy and probably cool, probably in the, what, 50s, 60s or something like that. I hadn't gone outside yet, but I will just to make sure to see what's going on. You know, before I started doing all of this back in 2022, I started launching this adventure. You know, th- I see this as a, as an adventure, a discovery. I see it as something that brings me joy and enthusiasm because I genuinely care about people and I genuinely want to make a difference and, you know, leave something for my my young people to consider, you know, in their quest to become genuine human beings in the true sense. I am telling you right now, the young people are met with more potential adversity, more potential catastrophes, more potential events than ever before. I th- I think within the last, what, thousands of years, you know, we're coming to this end point, you know, the dawning of the age of Aquarius, you know, from from beliefs to knowledge is basically what that all means in a in a snapshot, you know, because we like snapshots of life. We want things to happen instantly, instantly. So that's what it is in a nutshell, is to bring you out of your beliefs into knowledge, meaning you need to be grounded and make sure you do the proper research, the proper discernment, using all of your thinking capacities, you know, bring your sensing in there. It's, it's, it's no longer business as usual, okay? And let me just say something about the young people that, that are, you know, on our planet as we speak. I told you that we are, we, you know, we go through a process of what we call reborn or we have personalities. You know, we, we reborn personalities. And this has been going on for millions of years. Okay. And I know a lot of people on this stand, because if you go out in nature and you truly pay attention to what's going on now, you know, when you're in fall, when you're in a fall season, everything's dead as far as nature is concerned, right? Or it appears to be. That's that's the that's the something I want you to focus on. Everything appears to be dead. But what we're being taught is nothing dies. And you need to look at you need to kind of put pick that up on a literal, figuratively metaphoric level and and and, and hear me. Nothing dies. Okay. Out in nature, what it does is it goes into a, what I guess you can call it a slumber, you know, during the summer, hibernation, like what animals do. And then by the springtime, everything is beautiful again. And then, you know, the cycle goes on, you know, that, that cycle of, of, of life, if you want to call it that, you know, you can call it a, you know, whatever you want. I know a lot of people are fascinated with the tree of life, 
You know, they can they love that concept, but that's the same thing with us. And that's the same thing with human beings. We, in a way, we mimic our nature. Okay, we do as nature do. You know, we have these material bodies. At some point, you know, they, you know, they dissolve themselves, meaning we die. And, you know, or, yeah, we die. Okay, we can say that. Passing is more so the correct term, I think. You know, so that we can take away from saying things are dead. But that's the word we use. We use, okay, they died. But passing is the right word to use, actually, in my opinion. But, you, you know, do what you want. You're passing. What are you passing? You're passing the baton. <laughs> I mean, it becomes very simple once you allow yourself to make it simple and not complicate things. But that's not how it is, and we know that. We know that we're intentionally saturated with with garbage, okay, whether it's coming from certain media outlets, you know, certain groups in the pyramid type, you know, certain types of leadership. And this and that and the other, they want you to be so overwhelmed with your quote unquote responsibilities that you don't have time to investigate research you know for you know and they and and that's that's been a pattern for so long, and that's how we were all of us were indoctrinated and it's so funny you know that they those in the pyramid do not understand cause and effect reaping what they've sown because at some point it's going to it's going to come through them and that's why you notice sometimes these high profile people or high in they're mostly the high end or the high ends so to speak and when their descendants have all of these issues and this and that and the other which is hidden by the way you know a lot of people that are in so called leadership positions can't even lead their own families, but yet they want to lead a country. So we have been dangling for so long. What what do I mean by that? Hanging by a string for so long. And at some point it's gonna release itself. Okay. We cannot if we're if we're thinking clearly and effectively, things cannot continue to go as they are. And I'm sure most of us will agree. Do you like having a state of emergency every day? Do you like to be upended because of this, upended because of that? Being on guard, you know, fearful of your safety, fearful, fearful of your communities, fearful of your family, what, you know, what can happen to them, what can happen to you? I mean, do you like to be in that state of, of uh, you know, it's like a state of, uh, I you know, something being overcharged, you know, we're overcharged. If you look at that metaphorically and figuratively, you know, short circuit, you know, kind of frailing all over the place and and interfering with each other. And, you know, and the population is the reason for that, as well as our toys and equipment, the interference. So, again, be gentle and kind with yourself if you feel crazy. Because if you're not feeling crazy, then I'm I'm wondering what's really going on. Are you not necessarily dealing with and resolving things? It's crazy. Once you snap out of it and you look around, for some people, they may say, whoa. But the thing, but the most important thing is not to panic, though. And make sure that you're reacting properly. You know, are you safe where you are? Honestly, you know, do you know your escape routes? Do you know the important documents to have? And, you know, all of all of this, you know, do a drill, do a family drill, especially if you have kids and animals. What are you going to do with all these animals? Okay, because in certain places, they're not going to be allowed, you know. So there's just always something to to consider, always something to be concerned about. But once you get to a certain point where Okay, you, you, you've you handled your business. You've done the things you're supposed to do. You're righteous. You know, you'll be living in peace, even in the midst of chaos. Because I do. I live in peace, in the midst of clutter, in the midst of chaos. You know why? Because that's part of it. That's the human experience, is to experience your life at all ranges and all levels 
in all difficulties. That's what life is. Okay, it's not about accumulation of material material things and, and toys and equipment. Again, what are you going to do with all that when, mo- when Mother Nature starts knocking on your door? You know, and there's a lot of people that are having these moments with Mother Nature and they see phenomena that they think this hasn't. And, and that's what you keep hearing people saying, this has never happened before. This has never happened before. And, they, you know, and everything is always being raised in that certain, you know, it's almost as if, what did you expect? It's cause and effect. Okay, it only gets worse from now on, not better. So, and I hear, I see people kind of questioning now, the, you know, the certain technologies that we are allowed to run amok and, and take over our lives as far as our personal information. And, you know, everyone thought it was so, I think it's cool and fancy, you know, to have all this automation of things. Well, 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 when the tables start turning and the tables are turning, we're in the midst of it. The tables are turning. And a lot of us, due to our complacency and relying on certain leaderships to, to, to guide us through this, you know, now they're taking us to, you know, the brink of disaster. And I say that literally. But, hey, to each his own, you discover what you sense about what's going on around you. And you ask yourself these questions, you know. So cause and effect is real, okay? And do not disregard it. Pay attention to your surroundings. Pay attention to the people in your circle. Pay attention to the people that you are responsible for, okay? Pay attention to the people that claim they support you, but, you know, you you know otherwise. You get this feeling inside, Something's something's bothering you about that when people say they support you. And more importantly, when somebody says they love you. I told you I know what love is. Okay. And it's a it's something very simple too, but so magnificent at the same time. Okay. It's it means sometimes that you have to step away and step back and watch and observe and allow people to have their free will and make their own decisions. But as I said, if I support you, I support you forever, no matter what you do, you know. And I only offer that to certain people. I don't just offer it, offer that to everybody. That would be insane. <laughs> but it, it, it'll be a nice, it's a nice feeling to get to that point in your life where, you know, it's like with your mother. When you have a mother, you know, most mothers will love you no matter what you do. But there's a lot of work in that area about, a mother's responsibility to her children, however. And that's something to be, you know, contemplated, contemplate, something to be worked out in the future that it has to be. We have to understand what it means to be a mother. And I think if a lot of mothers had known certain things, they probably would have waited, you know, with the, you know, bringing in children, you know, you, because, because as a parent, right? You want the best for your child. Is that correct? Well, that means as far as the environment is in concern, I mean, that's the most important thing. They need to be able to breathe properly, but the levels of CO2 in the air doesn't allow it. They need to be able to be educated properly, but the amount of do- indoctrinated and, you know, you know, we have a system that's collapsed. All the systems are going to collapse. That's, 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 the, that's a part of, of life as well you know, collapsing in a se- separation. So there's a lot on our tables. There's a lot on our plate. And again, I appreciate the people that are coming forward, you know, telling your story, you know, attempting to resolve issues you have with people. Because that's, that's the most important thing to me as well. Forget about what everybody else is saying, that they don't want to hear this, they don't want to hear that. There's billions of, of amount of content out there that, that some people ought to consider uh, resonating towards and and leave others alone that are genuinely wanting to resolve issues, genuinely want to become a righteous human being in the true sense and not continue this cycle. I appreciate a lot of descendants that are coming out and speaking as well and, and lifting the veil of the 
devastation their parent parents cause on the world and does on to them. Because a lot of people don't, I, I'm telling you, a lot of people don't realize the cause and effect. You know, you are attempting to destroy other people and you don't think that's going to come back on you at some point. You will reap what you've sown. And that can be in the form of your descendants. That can be in the form of your, of your, you know, of your descendants in the future. Keep that in mind. I told you, keep that in mind. We passed a baton. Okay, to another you, in my opinion, but that the wording may be correct, but it's a it's a brand new, fresh and clean, clean you. When we're passing batons to, in our lineage, okay, we we have that responsibility to our lineage, we have that responsibility to our ancestry, we have our that responsibility to the planet as well as to the universe that houses other human beings, just like you and I. We have a responsibility to make sure everybody is safe and not be concerned with the negligence and the arrogance and the cockiness of so-called leadership supposedly leading the way for us. And time and time again, we'll get to a point of, you know, a point of uh, possible breakthroughs, and then we tumble and tumble and tumble every time. There's proof and documentation of that, okay? Consider the collapse of Rome. Consider the collapse of Atlantis and Mew. Consider the, the, the collapse of, the, of these several planets out there and why we are in the, in, the, in the midst of a certain reality right now. So sometimes you just have to just lay it on the table, okay? Again, this is no longer business as usual. No one understands this reality we're in because nobody wants to think about it. We just want to rely on regurgitation of knowledge and memory of knowledge and think that that's going to get us through. Okay, this, 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 these events that are upcoming for us, I mean, I, I'll probably be past seeing, you know, I, I, I probably, my, this particular person, personality would have been passed by then, I'm sure. But hey, there's no guarantees of anything. But my future personality will experience it or experience some things based on what I'm doing now. And that's what we need to pay attention to. Pay attention to your behaviors and actions. You do read what you've sown. Don't dismiss it. You know, speak gentle and kind to yourself about what am I doing? What am I thinking about? And what have I caused? And how can I resolve it? It does matter. It does matter. So. I'm going to go ahead and stop there, stop right here and go ahead and start my day as well as, you know, handle my responsibilities. But I would just do, I do want to caution everyone, you know, a lot of things are going to be happening and a lot of people are going to be questioning, you know, somebody, someone outside of themselves, you know, like whoever they are, you know putting their responsibilities off on, you know, in other words, who, who are you waiting to come and save you? You know, who are you waiting to come and rescue you? Okay. And then ask yourself what happens when no one shows up? What's happening right now is with our climate is, is affecting the, the materialness, the material things that we have and the, and the, and the, and the, and the massive amount of them. A lot of those are going to be destroyed, but human beings may not necessarily, uh, you know, what you're going to do as a human being, you're going to witness what, what the effects are to your materialism. When you see it burn to the ground or you see it fall into the ocean. Because you need to see this. You need to experience this. You need to know. Okay? It's no longer business as usual. Before a massive, in my opinion, before a massive amount of human beings are wiped off the map, literally, it's not going to necessarily affect a lot of people because it's happened before. So here we are facing each other for another go round. And I ask you, are you ready this time? Evolution of the consciousness. Love is spoken here. I'm Michelle Carruthers. Thank you so much for listening to the Evolution of the Consciousness podcast. Please make sure to leave us a review. If you wish to ask a question to Michelle, you can leave her an email at 
Miss Michelle Carithers at gmail.com.